Oh, this is all very, very strange. A couple of miles away from where we're moored at Hawkesbury Junction is where I was sent to grammar school after passing the 11 plus 50 years ago. And this was um, I had terrible eyesight when I was a child. I think I might have mentioned that, or anyone who's read that chapter in the book will know all about that. And it was in the days when we had the 11 plus, I passed the 11 plus. And, um, and they sent me to Coventry, <laughs> which is where this is. And this is Exall Grange, which is now a, a specialist school for people with all sorts of disabilities and sensory impairments. But um, when I came here, I, mean, I don't, obviously, you know, I don't recognise any of this, but it had residential houses. I'm fairly sure mine was Lancaster. Anyway, I only stayed here for a term, maybe two terms, because I hated it. <laughs> I fucking hated it. And that, you know, again, you know, anyone who's read that particular chapter will understand why. Now, when I was a child, I'd had seven eye operations by the age of two and a half, three. And all of those times was being like sent to hospital and then being dumped in hospital. In fact, I was in there once for so long that I didn't recognize my mum when she came. And um, so I always had this kind of like this separation, this thing about separation, and then being sent to a boarding school at seven, because again, bad eyesight. Um, and in the mind of a child, that was, that was being rejected. That was a rejection thing. Even though my parents had done everything possible to ensure that I had the best the best access to education for for a child with with really quite severe um visual impairment so and then but the first school i went to i got bullied quite heavily uh, loads of people saying oh you adopted your parents didn't you want you that's why they chucked you out here you know they hate you and then i had kind of like the same thing here <sighs> except a long long way away from where i lived and um and it was here that i got quite seriously bullied until one day I fought back and I really fought back. <laughs> I fought back so badly that I put two of my peers in hospital. They were both quite a, a fair bit larger than I and I just lost it and I just didn't stop. It took three teachers to pull me off these two guys. There's two of them. <sighs> no idea where that came from. I was 11 for fuck's sake. <laughs> um, and I've had that same attitude towards bullies ever since. So this place was, this, this is me kind of like coming to um, bury a few ghosts, I suppose. But interestingly, on the same site is this place, Zoe's place. And this is a baby hospice. God, talk about what goes around comes around. <sighs> That's, um, I mean, what I find, brilliant. <laughs> Just to have a baby hospice on the site that gave me so much grief to provide so much support and relief. Uh, especially for, I think, for parents and um, and the families. I mean, th th there are very few things, I think, that have levelled me over the years working with cancer patients is seeing seeing children, especially babies, but children, children with terminal cancer. <sighs> so, yeah, big thumbs up for what's happened on the uh, Exor Grange site. And it is very, very, it's very strange being back here. The head, I think his name was Marshall, George Henry Marshall. And I'm sure he had the best of intentions, but he didn't do anything to combat bullying at all. And then when I smacked these two lads, who were both, I think, probably 14, 15, and when I, when I gave them the pounding of their life, it was, it was me <laughs> who, was, who was in trouble. It was me that was the problem. <laughs> I didn't get expelled, I just said I'm not coming back. Now actually, what's also strange when, when, when talking about this place in view of the canal as well, I ran away from here one night. <laughs> I ran away from here. I sneaked out and I've no idea how, but I found myself in Coventry Canal Basin. <laughs> it was rank. <laughs> it really was an awful shite hole of a place. And, um, and I didn't know what I was going to do. So then I came back here. I found my way back here for about six in the morning, got back into bed and nobody realised that I'd gone. <laughs>
so yeah Exor Grange it was where it was the grammar school in the country it's the only grammar school in the country for high achieving children with visual impairments of course since then you know I've had lens replacement and, and all sorts and whatever so I think these days these sort of like specialist schools there's a lot of questions over whether or not they're they're efficacious um, it certainly I don't know it didn't do me much harm didn't do me much good all it did was feed into that whole separation thing that rejection complex which i know wasn't deliberate and i know my parents acted with the best of the best of intentions um but in the mind of a child all that confirmation bias very very powerful stuff so anyway that's exor grange very very weird place and i'm glad now that i've buried that ghost for good Oh, there's a little postscript as I was wandering around over there. A car comes out, a chap comes over to see what I'm doing. I said, Oh, went to school there 50 years ago. So we just had a long old chat, and um, a lot of the school is still there. And apparently, now I thought uh, I was fairly sure that you know the residential block I used to live in was called Lancaster. That's that one there. How about that? That's where I was dumped as an 11 year old. Well, I was probably 11 and a half, nearly 12. I can't remember. Young anyway, 50 years ago. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and the school now, it doesn't. it's not residential. It's not a boarding school. It's mainly a day school funded by Warwickshire County Council. And um, half of the, the, the school was demolished, but the main building's still there apparently. So, whoa, kind of got, so like little shivers going up and down my spine I have little shivers but there we are that's definitely definitely put a lot of uh, ghosts to rest so thank you Nigel for uh, for that do you know what Not sure. It would have been. Actually, if that's the that's a boarding block, that would have been my my bedroom there. At the end, crumbs. That's it.